I don't know, that's the best I can do. Hello beautifuls! Today we are going to look at the ColourPop and Sailor Moon collection. First, I'm just going to show you guys all of the products and then I'm going to get into swatches and then I'm going to finish it up by applying most of these products on my face. So if you like to see, just keep watching. And if at any point you find that you are enjoying the video, subscribe and also like the video so I know how my content is doing. I first just want to say that I know this wig does not look that great on me. The color, the style, it's not very flattering on me. I feel like it has something to do with it being a little bit flat on the top and my head being like a little bit too big for this wig. We're just going with it because I thought this would go really well with the whole Sailor Moon collection. I just didn't feel right doing this collection without pink hair. In anime, they always have like the colored hair, so I just felt like I had to throw this out. I kind of forgot that I was a fan of Sailor Moon. That was a part in my history that I just completely forgot about. I feel like Michelle Fawn kind of brought up the whole Sailor Moon thing again. Until she mentioned it, I just, I did not think about Sailor Moon. I do remember my love for Powerpuff Girls. I was obsessed with Powerpuff Girls. I will not forget that. If ColourPop came out with the Powerpuff Girls collection, I would be all for it. So I just wanna jump right into it. I wanna get into the palette. This is the eyeshadow palette. The packaging is so adorable. It is just as cute as you would imagine. And the pink here is so cute. It is like the perfect little baby pastel kind of pink. These are the eyeshadows. It doesn't come with a mirror, which is totally fine with me. I'm not crazy about having mirrors in my palette unless I'm having like a neutral everyday palette. Let's talk about the cover. I feel like this might have cost a little bit more money to make the cover like this. I really love that ColourPop did this. Even if they didn't have this, I would totally love it, but I really like that they added it, added that piece to this, and it kind of makes me feel like this collection could have been a little bit more expensive. Inside the palettes, we have some mattes, we have some shimmers. I was thinking that some of the colors just wouldn't show up on me very well. As you can see, they're very light and they are more on the pastel side. But the reason that I finally decided to get this palette is because I actually saw it on another YouTuber with the same complexion and it was beautiful on her. That's why I decided to finally get this palette. I shouldn't be surprised because ColourPop seems to be like that. Like the color just comes off identical to how it looks in the palette. A lot of us are used to the colors coming off lighter or more ashy but to be honest i feel like i would have just gotten this collection even if the colors didn't work for me because the packaging is everything we're just gonna go down the line with powders we have these two amazingly adorable blushes honestly i think it's because it's a cap but not not just any cap but look at how cute luna is just so cute why is she so cute she's just so cute We've got one in Cat's Eye, and then we got one in From the Moon. So let's go ahead and see what these look like. This is the Cat's Eye palette. I freaking love this. I think this is so adorable. I'm trying to think of another word for cute, but it is. It's just so cute. The cool thing about this is that when you tilt it up and down, it has four different images. It feels like kind of pink and peach mixed together. And we've got a lot of shimmer. And this is a true bubblegum pink. Both of these blushes do look very pigmented and highly wearable. I just gotta say like having all this Sailor Moon stuff out is just like, I have goosebumps right now. It's just so cute. These are the glitter, glitter, glitterly, obsessed glitters people seem to be disappointed about these because they have they are not intended for the eye area they are just not safe whatsoever this is in the color moon prism power for body use only i have discovered some uses for it after swatching it on my arm so with this i feel like and i'll show you guys later in the video i feel like you can use it as highlight so you just put it up here you could put like a bracelet so just like do a band across 
your wrist. You could also put it like right here on your arm if you're at like a special event or something. You could probably put it on your neck and basically just make it look like you have a glitter necklace. This is gorgeous. You guys will see in the swatches. I love the little like stars and moons that are in here so it's definitely something that i want to use then we have one in pink and then this one is called moonlight legend unfortunately we're moving on to the last two items and they're both lip products basically just got this because uh it's sailor moon and it also has luna on the back it's so cute this is the ultra blotted lip with the ultra glossy lip ultra blotted lip goes on the bottom and then sailor moon ultra glossy lip goes on the top i swatched the glitter one on my hand and then i removed it and it did leave a lot of traces of glitter i'm not really looking forward to putting this on my lips and having glitter transfer to my mouth but for the sake of this video we're just gonna do it now this is the daylight Set. I mean, I get why there's shimmer in here, but it also just sucks because I feel like this could just be an everyday lip gloss topper, but the fact that there's glitter in it, the fact that the glitter transfers to other places on your face makes it unwearable for an everyday lip topper. Now I'm super excited. We're going to go ahead and try these products on. My favorite part, I love trying on new makeup. Who doesn't love trying on new makeup? But this is extra special because it is... Sailor Moon makeup. We're just gonna hop right into it. My tip for doing eyeshadows, if you're new to doing eyeshadow, is to use as many blending brushes as you can and use that to apply the shadow and then kind of like blend it out as you're applying it. I find that that just works really nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and do Twilight Flash because it seems like it's more of a nudie color. I am not seeing any color. Oh, okay, I am seeing it a little bit now. I just had to pack on more. I have to pack on a lot of this one because it's very light. It's a very light orange color and it's a lot of fun. I don't think I've ever put like a pastel orange on my eyes before. I'm just going to go into Justice and then I'm going to put... <coughs> that just came out of nowhere. I think I... <coughs> I think I got dust in my mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the inner corner. Okay, I think what I need to do is not use a blending brush and just go ahead and use a regular brush because it is not showing up like that. There we go. Oh, that's cute. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. I do have primer on, but these these shadows work without primer. I've never had to use primer with any of my ColourPop shadows. How about we just like go down the row and then end with this color on the edge of our eyes? And then I'm going to pack that on in the middle. It matches my hair. This is fun. Um, 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 um. Then I'm going to go in with love. All right, so that's just a little bit darker than the next color. Not a huge difference. Now, now that I'm seeing this palette, I do see myself using it a lot more than I thought I would. These pink colors are something that I would love to use more often. And now we're going to go in with the last color called Miracle Romance. Please don't be super powdery. And then I'm just going to basically pack this on in the outer corner. And wrap it up. I have never done colors like this before. But this is fun. I'm kind of proud of myself that I did this. I am going to go in with Miracle Romance. And then I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes. Yeah, this is so pigmented. And we take our blending brush and then blend everything out. Oh my god. Twilight Flash is so powdery. I don't like it. I do enjoy the color, but it's too powdery. I don't understand why it's so powdery. So I'm going in with Tuxedo Flash, and I am blending that into my crease. Okay, I'm going to kind of blend the top a little bit. I'm going to take my pencil brush and go into Luna, which is this really pretty shimmery purple color, and then put that in the inner corners. This is probably one of the best colors in the palette. 
Wow, I really like that. I forgot that I like wasn't zoomed in this entire time. I'm gonna go for the daring bright bubblegum pink color. It kind of looks like it has a bit of a bluish tint to it. That's really cute. I like that. It looks scary in the palette, but in person, it's not that crazy. Now we're gonna move on to the lips. I'm just gonna go for the brightest one because we're we're all bright here. This feels very low quality. This is not the most comfortable lip product. I definitely feel like it needs a topper. Why is the brush so stiff? It just made it look more uh, uh, frosted. Not a huge fan of the lip stuff, but look at the packaging. The packaging is so cute. So that's pretty much everything. Um, I'm gonna now go in with the Glitterly Obsessed and I am gonna try to use it as a highlight. This stuff is a really cool texture. Okay, I'm just gonna apply some here. That's pretty. That kind of just completes the look. That's so cool. That is really cool. I like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you like it? And that's it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely uh, had so much fun doing this. If you guys like these types of videos, make sure to subscribe because I definitely have a lot more coming up and I have a lot more color pop makeup to try on and also make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it it would help out a lot and i hope to see you guys in another video okay bye